Okay, hello, welcome everybody to my favorite makeup picks. I'm gonna be talking about all cruelty-free products. Every video I do, it's gonna be cruelty-free products. And these are some of the tried and true products that I've used over the years and repurchased. These are some of my absolute favorites. And I'm gonna start off with um, the Hourglass Veil Mineral Free Primer. This has an SPF of 15. And for people like me, I enjoy getting my SPF in something other than a moisturizer because I, I have combination skin and sometimes moisturizers are a little too heavy. So if I can get it in a foundation or a primer, it uh, makes my life a lot easier. This retails at, I think I paid 70 or $80 for it. I remember it being crazy expensive and I'd, I usually buy um, cheaper products just because of budgetary concerns, but this is worth every penny. There are some times that spending money um, is justified and it is with this product. It really uh, helps to minimize fine lines and minimize pores and I have giant pores and that's something that I always struggle with. And to be able to put on a lightweight formulation and have it hide my pores is like sent from heaven. So I love, love, love a lot of things that Hourglass makes. Uh, I use their highlighter as well. It's absolutely brilliant. I do need to try the Becca Champagne Pop highlighter, uh, but for now I'm, I'm doing Hourglass and this primer is, oh God, it's just, it's gorgeous. So I am also a giant fan of e.l.f. I'm gonna go totally the other way to products that cost like a dollar, $2. We had Target in Canada. I reside in Toronto. So I was really glad Target was coming. And then the number one reason I was glad is so I could finally get e.l.f. products. Um, but as we all know, Target went kaput. And now I buy my e.l.f. products online. And I'm saying this just to give you the tip of buy it in small batches if you're gonna order from e.l.f. online because I went crazy and I think I spent like $100 and I got charged a lot of customs fees. But when I spend $30, $40 from e.l.f., I don't get charged custom. So even though Target collapsed, I can still get my hands, because I, like, I honestly can't live without e.l.f. It's just, they have so many uh, makeup products that are used with quality ingredients, and they're not, a lot of them don't have alcohol and uh, other things that are nasty irritants to your skin. So one of the ones that I really like is their, their Makeup Mist and Set Spray. This has aloe, green tea, cucumber, vitamins A, C, and E. Like that's insane. This is basically a, like a good quality toner for your skin, but it also lets me prep my skin for my makeup and it helps me to set my skin and I can carry it around with me all day and refresh my skin. No alcohol in it, not like nothing. Like this is just gorgeous, gorgeous for your skin and it takes away all that powderiness uh, when you're doing your makeup and, and gives you that natural finished look which you want. And what, like, what was this, $3, I think? Amazing. And it's 30, 60 milliliters, which is quite sizable. Uh, I know there's other uh, setting sprays that are about 30 milliliters. So this is awesome. And this, sorry, this is like, my e.l.f. corrector pen, which as you can see, I think I've gone through two of these recently. This is one of my older ones. This is fantastic because it's a little like marker that erases your makeup. So for people like me who do heavy eye makeup with a liquid cat wing, which I'm bound to mess up from time to time. Anytime I mess up, I can just quickly erase it. And it it's super neat. Um, I also, find that my eyelashes, when I put on mascara, I get the little dots on top and I can just erase those with no fuss. Uh, and this, I think $2, a dollar, I don't know. I have, I have about five of these at home because they're, I haven't really found anything that's the same shape. I know All May had the Q-tip ones, um, but this I find I can just use for a tiny spot where, as even though the All May ones are good, this is a finer point and I can get more precision on it. So that's e.l.f. I could talk about them all day. I might even have a whole video one day devoted to e.l.f. cosmetics. And another favorite brand of mine is, and people laugh at me, is uh, Physicians Formula. They, I could talk about their stuff all day as well and I'll probably be featuring more stuff. This I'm talking about because it's fairly new. 
It's hard for me not to call it the miracle cushion. Um, <clears throat> Lancome came out with a miracle cushion, which which is phenomenal. But I'm talking about this one because this one's 100% um, cruelty free and the price point is about $20. And this is a talc free, here I'll show it to you so you can actually see. It's got the, the foundation sponge, which you apply. And I don't usually get compliments on my foundation, but the first time I wore this, I had two people within an hour tell me that I have porcelain skin, it looks flawless, uh, which I will take because there's been many years where people just said I had pasty hipster skin, so that's a thing. But this stuff just gives a really nice, light, flawless finish. And I find the older I get, the more I want lightweight foundations because I want to cover up my pores, I want to even my skin out. And I find some foundations just, they set in my lines a little bit too much. So I really, really love this lightweight cushion from Physicians Formula. This is crack for me. Um, this is a Canadian company. It's, uh, the product is a Luma Lift. And again, I love products that are skincare, like the, the hourglass stuff always kind of doubles as having skincare properties and my e.l.f. setting spray. This is amazing for your skin. It actually is supposed to take away two years of your age with continuous use of a month. It has uh, Matrixyl 3000 in it. So it is repairing a lot of damage. It's helping to increase your collagen production. And that's just from a skincare point of view. It's my little miracle. It's got that gorgeous yellow, which takes away darkness under your eyes. And it also helps to pop out your, your nasal folds and diminish your fine lines and wrinkles. I cannot live without this. I have not found another product that is even close to this. It's got a creamy, creamy texture. Usually when you find yellows, they're a little bit, uh, they're either powders or they're just a little bit harder in their um, texture. And this is just this like amazing lightweight. You can even use it on your eyelids to prime for eyeshadow. Amazing, I go through one of these very quickly um, just cause I use it every day, everywhere. Uh, I cannot live without this. I cannot stress that enough. I'm just gonna pause for a second to tell you that the way I verify whether or not a company tests on animals, uh, there's a couple websites that I use. The first one is cruelty-free-kitty.com, which Fatty here showed me where that was. She likes that one especially. She has some weird bias, I don't know why. And uh, beautypedia.com, sometimes I also use PETA. So I do kind of triple check to see if these brands are cruelty-free, because sometimes things change too, so you, you always have to stay on top of it. Okay, so this is from Essence, which is another one of my favorite cheap brands. There is so many products that they have that I absolutely love. I'll probably talk about more of them, but this is the I Heart Extreme Mascara, and it might actually be my favorite mascara. It's kind of my, my secret. I tend to do thick eyelashes. As you can see, I like more of a pinup look, and this stuff uh, helps me to achieve that. It also, nicely melds my fake eyelashes with my real eyelashes to get a more natural look. And it's it's nice and thick. It's if you heart extreme, you will also like this. $4.99 is how much that costs. And they now have it in waterproof, so that's nice. Um, this one's kind of embarrassing and I can't even believe I'm admitting this, uh, but whatever, who cares? This is Wet n Wild. Lipstick, uh, liquid lipsticks are so popular right now. This is one that I picked up in Arizona, it was on clearance. Uh, so I'm hoping they still make these because this was before the liquid lipstick trend and I got it in clearance for a dollar. When I wear it, I tell people, because they ask me, because they like it just as much as I do, what am I wearing? And I say, Stila. So I'm sorry for lying. And if my mom's watching the video, I'm sorry that I'm lying about my makeup, but that's what Wet n Wild does. It gives you some bravado. So I really like this. This is a gorgeous fuchsia uh, that really pops. It stays in the lines um, and, it, and it does last. 
And speaking of liquid lipsticks, this is, everybody's talking about NYX. And this is their um, liquid suede. I think I paid $10 for this. And the color is suede. Every, I have it on right now. Uh, people always compliment me. Usually girls, guys are like, are you okay? Like, are, are you sick or dead? Like, I get kind of those weird comments, but I don't care. I love it. I love that NYX does really fun colors. And this stuff also stays. I will drink a coffee, it'll stay. I'll eat, it'll stay. And the nice thing is it doesn't dry my lips out. Uh, which a lot of liquid lipsticks do. I have, I don't know if I have sensitive lips, but I find that sometimes my lips actually peel off the day after wearing a really long lasting lipstick and this doesn't do it. It, it feels very comfortable. And the last product is kind of, um, I wasn't even planning on going nail polish route, but the other day I needed a top coat and I couldn't find mine. So I just grabbed one off my pile of of nail polish because I, I have a hoarding problem with makeup and stuff. I don't even know where I got this. This is Seche Vite. I'm probably mispronouncing that. I might have got an Ipsy bag. I have no idea, but this this is it. Uh, this is the one I'm getting married. Like this is your wedding announcement here. This is the best top coat I've ever used in my life. So I quickly researched to see if it was cruelty free and it is. So the wedding is on. Uh, my nails feel like I just got a shellac manicure. I have nail polishes because again, I'm a hoarder. I have so many nail polishes that kind of have expired and they flake and chip off. As soon as I put this on, they last for days with zero chipping, ultra shine, like I totally got shellac done. So those are a few of my favorite cruelty free products. And thank you so much for listening. Um, and Fatty and I wish you a very nice day. Goodbye.